promise you it is totally worth it. Hey guys, no time no see. We have been quite idle but no worries we're resuming our videos and on this video we'll be explaining to you a little bit what's been going on and why we have been so quiet. Meanwhile we explain what has happened, what we have been doing and what we'll be doing this year, we're going to take you to Liverpool and Manchester where we'll be working for the next two days. So we are in the city of Liverpool at the moment, we're doing a tour of the city and I'm here with Omar. Omar is being the tour guide. I'm doing, being the helper. That's what I do normally. And yeah, we go back to what we do normally, which is do tours for language students. And we do this since about 2011. So I'll show you what he does. As you can see, that was a little bit of Omar doing a tour. So yeah, we've been doing this since 2011, 2011, and we take language schools to tour, and these short ones, and then we have a long one during Christmas and New Year's for 11 days, and that's a really, really nice tour. We'll probably do it this year, and it's a really rewarding job, I have to say, because you are giving something really positive to people. So it's been really amazing to be back, and being contacted by so many people that we haven't seen in such a long time so we're gonna walk a little bit more come tend the garden with me we have so many seeds to sow that was the Beatles exhibition it's really cool so if you are coming to Liverpool you have to go and see the Beatles. We only came, Mom and I. My mom is right here. Mommy! <laughs> because the kids don't know the Beatles anymore. It was so sad. Um, we used to take them here and they would know about the Beatles, but you know, 10 years have passed and they're like, Who are the Beatles? So we took them to Penny Lane. We're like, Take a photo for your parents. Trust me, they will love it. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go now to the town center. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the town center and then we're gonna go and eat something. But yeah, pretty, pretty Liverpool. So I already recommend it. Do you like everything but the likes of me? After free time to eat and sightsee, we had a walking tour of the city center and then headed to our hotel to check in. Okay, we checked in. We are in our hotel room. We're staying in a really nice no, it's a nice area. It's right in front of the Albert Docks in Liverpool, so really cool. And we just finished the ninth life tour, so well done. You're very Thank tired. You very much. <laughs> no really problem. Right. <laughs> At the moment, I'm like doing back-to-back -to -back tours. So I was in Edinburgh. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Hey. So now in Liverpool, Manchester, and then when I get back, I'm going straight onto a Paris tour. Yeah. But it's good because we need some money, yeah. and uh, it's literally going to finance our next big move mm -hmm. but anyway like what we wanted to say is that what our plans are so mm -hmm. we are planning to go back to portugal probably beginning of march correct yes totally yeah but then this is something that we really wanted to do like in two years time but things didn't work out so mm -hmm. this time we the house that's here where all our stuff is and where our parents my parents were living it's gonna be closed, so all our stuff are there, so that's need to be moved. Three cats. We have three cats as well <laughs> that need to be moved in a tiny container, so that's gonna yeah. be interesting. And then my mom is also coming with us. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of logistics happening at the moment, hence why we haven't really done any videos. Yeah, totally. I mean, also my brother-in-law, Simon, he's been doing loads of work. Yeah. Um, trying to get the room ready for Andrea's mom, so she has somewhere to, to live when she gets to Portugal. Yeah. So she's probably going to be living with uh, your sister for a little while until, so we need to put a roof on this building that we're doing. Yeah. She's going to go into that new room we're building at the moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Simon has been doing loads of stuff, so I'll show you now all the photos that he has been, well, a few of them. <laughs> And 
done don't worry when we get back we're going to do like an update video so you and us are in the same page because it's we're gonna be a surprise touch. for yeah, us <laughs> like, there's just too many things happening at the same time and like we're just trying to keep everything going yeah um, so yeah and we have like we did film some videos before we left in november we have been here since the end of november so those videos i'm gonna edit them as soon as i can and there's another video for like the time lapse of the house and i actually found some footage from our second viewing mm -hmm. so that's pretty nice to tie it in mm -hmm. and then the house that we did last year uh start to finish renovation of a victorian house i think you guys will love yeah, to that see that really pretty we yeah. haven't been able to release it for various reasons yeah but now we've all got the all clear now so yeah that's a really cool video coming out and also the logistics of going back to portugal because that's going to be maybe interesting this, for some of you so. yeah we're literally having all of our stuff shipped over and then we we've got all of our cats yeah. uh, with their rabies vaccinations, and we're getting their paperwork now. Certificates, and, and then my mom's immigration stuff, and uh, yeah, so that's a lot of <laughs> organization happening, guys. It's it's been quite a few months, I yeah. have to say. I ha I definitely promise when we get back to Portugal, we are just gonna get so stuck in to yeah. off grid living, fixing up that room. Mm. We're gonna have some cash as well, and which growing is stuff and buying trees i'm so excited mm -hmm. but yeah um for now we're gonna see you guys in the morning we're very tired from today so yeah we'll see you in the morning adios <laughs> <laughs> Hello and good morning. We are waking up. It's about 10 past 7 and we're gonna go and have breakfast, check out of the hotel and then we're gonna go to Manchester. Before that we're going to visit the Liverpool Stadium. Well the group is, we're just gonna wait outside and then we're gonna go to Manchester. So meanwhile the group is in the stadium doing a stadium tour. I'm gonna go and have a coffee and I'll wait for them outside. <laughs> this oh my is gosh, my niece. <laughs> She's come to the tour with us. Are you enjoying your time? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you had a good time. I believe you did. And uh, so we're on our way now to Manchester. So we should be there in just under an hour and uh, we'll be dropping off in the center on Ald Square. So sit back, enjoy, remember to wear your seatbelts and uh, we'll be there very shortly. Welcome to Manchester. After visiting the beautiful Manchester Cathedral and having a delicious meal, the tour came to an end and we drove back five hours south and arrived pretty late in the evening. went really well to Liverpool. Omar is now in Paris so he's doing another tour and yeah it's been really good to be back and working what we used to do before and seeing people we haven't seen in like three years. It's been really really cool. So yeah I just wanted to catch up with you guys and just let you know what's been happening these past few months. Um, we haven't done any videos because um, we haven't been able to, to be honest. It's been a really crazy time. I'm sure some of you are aware of our community post that we did a few weeks ago. And uh, the whole year really has been quite a roller coaster. We did a renovation back in winter, which was a really cool experience, but it was also very stressful. And um, then we went back to Portugal, resumed our renovation, and then came back in July. Um, to work because July is a big season for us as tour guides and unfortunately my dad fell quite ill my dad suffered from a brain aneurysm a rupture and then we had four months of really 
traumatic time to be very honest with you it was very very difficult for all of us and um, everything just completely changed there was a lot of uncertainty and unfortunately my dad passed away by the end of November and yeah it's been it's been a really difficult to navigate grief something that i have never really felt so because I've, I've never really had someone so close to me die so it's a fairly new um sentiment for me but i've been doing okay um everyone is okay we're coping well thank you a lot of people have been asking how we are but we're doing okay and i appreciate the thoughts but things have changed you know we were uh, planning for my parents i never really told you i think but we were planning for we always plan our land our property to be a place for our parents to come one day we wanted my parents to stay there in the two years one year so we were like building stuff for them to be comfortable and that have that life, you know, in your 70s when you want to be calm and you want to be close to nature and have a simple life. And I really think my dad was really looking forward to it. He really loved Portugal. And uh, he was also very involved in our renovation because he's a civil engineer. So he was really involved in many ways and watch our videos and wanted to see what we were doing and how we were doing it. I'm very, very proud of him. He did great projects in his, in his life and I really wish you met him. You kind of got a small glimpse of him two years ago in one of our videos when he was visiting with my mom. Very intelligent, very gentle person. You know, the kind of person that will strike a conversation with any stranger and um, he would call anybody all the time. He loved talking on the phone with all his family and friends. Very smart, very cultured, loved classical music, something that unfortunately I can't really bring myself to listen to at the moment. Um, and and um, I'm very thankful for having an amazing dad. I really, really miss him. But this is why I'm being able to make videos because I don't want you guys to be sad. I don't want to make you sad, I want to make you happy, I want to uh, make you, you know, have a nice time when you watch our videos. So we think our family members are going to last us forever. But no, people, people go. We all will go. And I think uh, one of the things that we should really talk about is, is death, you know, amongst ourselves. It's something that we avoid talking about. And uh, what our wishes, what we would do for what we want our families to do for us in our last days is such an important conversation. I have been reading this book here, Finding Meaning by David Kessler. Really recommend it. So if you're going through grief or you know you're finding it difficult to navigate the thoughts of grief, even if you haven't lost anybody, I thoroughly recommend it. And the podcast Grief Cast is really, really cool. I will probably talk about brain aneurysms later when there's the awareness month, which is September. So important that people know the symptoms of it. If anybody that you know is are suffering from those symptoms, please go and check with the doctor. Aneurysms are usually um, detected by mistake. People go for one thing and then for a scan and then they are surprised to find out that they have an aneurysm because you know you can live with one and not know it's been difficult but we're doing okay uh, everyone is doing okay and and that's what's been happening guys so we're gonna see you very soon and thank you for listening to me if you're still here in this video or up until now i really appreciate it thank you for subscribing to our channel and your support and your great messages and your condolences i really appreciate it um i know it's gonna get better you don't move on you move forward and i'm very very thankful to have had an amazing dad that gave me so much love and i know that all of this sorrow i feel right now and all of that sadness is only the reflection of all the joy and love he gave me so that's how i see it <laughs> we'll see you very soon and don't be sad everything's okay <laughs> thank you so much guys we'll see you very soon we have an engineer on, on the side. Yay! <laughs> Hola. Hola. Hello. How are you? Fine. Mira lo que estamos haciendo. My dad is here today. Please, dear. 
they are here. I found oh, it for the internet. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 That's sorry. <laughs>